Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to delete systems from the RetroFE launcher on the RG Nano on the Funky OS. So I'm actually using the Tron custom firmware. If you don't know how to do this, then make sure to follow the link in the description for my previous video. And what I want to do is to remove certain systems from this launcher. So I'm just going to show you how to do that today. So basically, we have to press the power key here, the menu button, and launch into the G menu 2x. So just make sure to select this. And we're going to go into the kind of main system menu here. And what we want to do is to open up the commander application. So open up this. And then we need to basically edit a file which contains the system list. I'm just going to show you where that is. So what we need to do is to navigate on the left hand side into a place called user. So go to the user folder, USR, then go to games, then go to collections. And then basically there's a file here under main called menu.txt. So we want to edit that file. So what we want to do is to enable editing. So press the menu button here. I'm just going to allow this to system read and write. So if it says read only, that means that the toggle has been turned on. So now we can actually write to the system. So that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the menu.txt. And we have a text list here. So yours will be longer. I've already edited mine. I want to delete this line. So I'll press A on here. Let's remove line. Okay, good. So basically that file's been edited, but that isn't the only step we have to do. We have to also copy it to the mount folder as well. So if we go down on the right-hand side here, we need to select our destination. So we need to copy that file over, and then we need to go to the mount folder here, and basically we need to copy it to the root of the mount folder. So what I'm going to do here is to select the menu.txt on the left, I'm going to press the X button, and then we're going to copy. So now on the bottom, on the right, we have the menu.txt. So the mount folder is basically what gets copied onto the firmware whenever the device restarts, and basically we are done. Uh, if you want to make any other additions as well, you can actually change the order of all of these devices. So they're not sorted in any way. You can change the order if you like. So for example, I could put the PS1 games at the top. I'll delete this line as well. And uh, we're going to copy this one instead. All right. OK, so now we just go ahead and exit the app. And we're going to relaunch RetroFE. So PlayStation has come up. We have no more Game Boy standards. So all of those are gone. What I want to do is to show a screenshot now, which basically shows the default list of all of the systems on the RG Nano. And basically, that's how you customize the Retro FE menu. And anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got a few more of these tutorials on my channel. Please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.